This is Tim Bryce with my column entitled, Coffee. I actually like a good cup of coffee. I recently celebrated a birthday, and in doing a little simple math, I determined I have consumed over 25,000 cups of coffee in my lifetime. That's over 1,500 gallons of coffee and a heck of a lot of caffeine. I began drinking coffee while in college in order to stay up late at night to write a paper or cram for a test. Like a lot of people, I started out by adding cream and sugar to make it palatable, kind of a creamy flavor. But over time, I learned to drink it black and believe I have a better appreciation for coffee than when I put in all the additives. Plus, there are a lot less calories in a black cup of coffee. I've sampled coffee from around the world and admittedly some countries are better than others. For example, in Japan, a country that specializes in green tea, it's difficult to find a really good cup of coffee. Brazil has some excellent coffee, which they drink in small espresso-like cups. Brazilians jokingly admit that the most important person in a company is the coffee boy or coffee girl, as they wander around pouring coffee for anyone wanting it. The coffee is rather thick and strong. Consequently, most people add sugar to sweeten it up. They were amazed I could drink it black, cup after cup. When I entered the workforce in the 1970s, just about everyone seemed to drink a cup of coffee. Not so anymore. Now it seems people prefer some sort of tea or bottled water. I guess this is why I'm surprised companies like Starbucks have become so successful selling coffee. Somehow they were able to take a mundane product, put a new spin on it, and make quite a bit of money off of it. It used to be you would pay as little as a nickel, dime, or quarter for a cup of coffee. In New York, we would jokingly refer to the Manhattan breakfast as two cigarettes and a cup of coffee for 55 cents. But Starbucks and others have turned the simple cup of coffee into a prestige or elegant dessert, kind of what you see at a pastry shop, and for a price much heftier than your pocket change. You really have to hand it to American marketing on this one to take something which costs pennies to make and turn it into a cash cow. I find it all rather amusing how some people like to hold a pseudo-intellectual conversation about the merits of their favorite coffee. What was once known as the rocket fuel of business has become the national pastime for frivolous discourse. As for me, I just wanted the buzz. Friends, keep the faith.